Like U.S. President-elect Trump, Scott Pruitt has expressed doubt about whether climate change is real, despite overwhelming evidence that it is. As Attorney General of the U.S. state of Oklahoma, Pruitt fought environmental laws and regulations advanced by the Obama administration, battling the agency he has been chosen to lead. Responding to his nomination, Pruitt released a statement saying, quote, the American people are tired of seeing billions of dollars drained from our economy due to unnecessary EPA regulations, and I intend to run this agency in a way that fosters both responsible protection of the environment and freedom for American businesses. Environmentalists are outraged. So on the climate front, none of this is good. Um, what this sets us up for is an inactive EPA at best and, a, um, and an EPA seeking to actively dismantle the climate regulations that President Obama has put in place um, at worst. Trump's environmental policies have many concerned about the future of the Paris Climate Accord. Trump has vowed to, quote, cancel that agreement in which the United States and most other countries around the world have made commitments to greatly reduce carbon emissions. China and other countries are vowing to stick to the agreement, regardless of how the U.S. proceeds. Climate change has imposed very urgent and serious challenges to human development and survival. A U.S. withdrawal from the Paris Climate Accord could diminish the role the United States plays in global affairs. Between the U.S. and China, um, now climate change has been elevated uh, into not only an environmental issue, but a geopolitical one between the most important two countries in the world. According to the U.N., 2015 was the hottest year on record. 2016 is expected to be even hotter. Jim Spellman, Washington.